Hey, yo, what's up you guys? So, recently I took my first solo trip. That was astounding. That was actually an experience that I had some fear around. I had been thinking like a few months ago and I was like, hmm, I kind of want to take my first solo trip, but I'm afraid to do that. I was like, well, why am I afraid? I was like, I love people and I want to experience life with other people. I enjoy being around other people, so I don't understand why I should do it alone. But I did it, and um, I was able to travel from America to Peru all by myself through three different airports from Missouri over to Atlanta, over to Lima, over to um, Cusco. And um, it was so easy because one of the biggest things it taught me is that you're never alone. It's just the truth. Like, the airports are so busy, and there's always people there. I actually, on the way there, I met a family. I only speak un poco, un poco espanol. Mi habla es uh, espanol un poco. Yo no sé. But anyways, um, yeah, I only speak a little Spanish. So there was a lady that was sitting next to me, and she spoke full Spanish and we had just been like you know looking at each other here and there just smiling and then her daughter came and she was trying to say something to me I was trying to switch spots with them because they had a little boy and I wanted them to be able to sit next to him because they were both on each side of me so I moved over and I was trying to tell her that but then her daughter came and she was like saying her daughter I could understand she was saying her daughter estudiar espanol so i'm like okay so her daughter studies spanish and has like a good understanding of the i mean english so has a good understanding of the language and when her daughter got back we started talking in english we just talked for a while we shared each other's story and then she was like would you like to move to the cafe with us because we are going to have breakfast and yeah and we can charge our phones and stuff so i, I moved over there with them and we ended up eating. She actually paid for my meal and we really had a heart to heart and she, you know, told me about some of the personal things she was going through in life and some of the transformations that she was ready to experience so that she could live out, you know, closer to her dreams even more in her life and you know, just gain more confidence in herself. And so like it was such a beautiful experience. That was as soon as I got to Lima. Yeah, it's just like if you pay attention, there's earth angels around everywhere, and they're always sent to you at the perfect times to reassure you that you're on the right path, and that was an experience I really honored. And even after I got to Peru, I met someone the first day that I was able to spend time with every day of that journey. All in all, I learned I'm really not alone. And I encourage anybody who is trying to do something that they feel that they can't do alone or that they have some kind of fear or imagined fear surrounding it or some kind of feeling of you know unease or like maybe a little worry I advise you to push through that and know that you are fully equipped to do what it is you are put here on this earth to do because if you don't who will but anyways um I just thought I'd share that you know, I'm testing out my camera because I've been wanting to get a new camera, but the one I have isn't so bad. Yeah, I just wanted to share that little nugget as well as I am back home and um, I'm so busy here. I have a lot going on in my personal life um, in a good way and I am catching up on orders. I had so many orders, I decided this time to leave my Etsy store as well as my website um, e v r t h a n g e l dot com Earth Angel. I left that open, and then my Etsy store is the same thing. It's Earth Angel dot Etsy dot store. I left both of those open while I was gone and received a lot of orders. And I was when I went on the trip, I was like, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna learn how to relax just a little bit and I did I had so much fun I didn't bring any work stuff with me but I did leave the shop open so when I got back I thought I'm just gonna grind it out I'm gonna get it all done in one day no ma'am that did not happen we did not get it done in one day because Rome was not built in a day 
it took me a few days and I've been going to the post office just fulfilling these orders and the new ones have come in so that's what Earth Angel's been up to I've been doing those orders and the new ones and essentially hoping to clear some time so I can freestyle and drop some new pieces for you guys and just try some new styles when I was in Peru I saw so much beautiful copper jewelry silver jewelry beautiful unique styles uh, especially because in Peru they crochet they crochet the copper wire it was amazing to see that I'm not saying I'm gonna incorporate that but it definitely opened my mind just a little bit more um, some of you know I sold some jewelry in Peru and I was very excited to do that because uh, it seems like the places that I've been traveling I've been able to sell a little jewelry unintentionally like just off my body off my arms wearing it and someone wanting to buy it after hearing about my craft my passion so yeah I sold some jewelry in Jamaica and I sold some in Peru and I look forward to selling more in various places around the world it's super awesome it feels great awesome to connect with other creatives and yeah so I am going to continue working on orders and I will freestyle soon but it's been a beautiful experience of learning how to navigate through traveling and working and balancing it and seeing the different doorways that can be opened and how you can live the life that you want to live or I can live the life I want to live and um, and have intervals of rest and work and fun and you know well, everything's kind of fun to me but it's been cool to learn how to balance it all and I thank you guys for keeping me busy so until next time ciao